Day three of Arkansas Adventure Time. And there's a hurricane coming. So, I don't know if you can see right now, but it's drizzling. And we gotta try to make it to Little Rock in an hour and a half to meet with the realtor before the storm starts getting even crazier. And then I have to come back tomorrow for the meeting that I have. So we gotta rush out of here and go downstairs, eat a little bit of breakfast. And then we're gonna start driving out to Little Rock, see what it's like out there. So far, everyone has told us do not go out there. So I don't know how bad it really is. Can't be worse than LA. But we'll see. We're gonna go eat and start driving. That's what's coming into shore right now. That's what's coming through. Hurricane Laura. You're not gonna do it now? <laughs> In a thunder roll. She just screamed that really loud a second ago. <laughs> This is what it looks like on our way to Little Rock. This is a nice, cool 76 degrees out. And this is about how fast you drive everywhere in Arkansas. The traffic is not that bad. Even though it's raining, in California would be driving five miles an hour. So one interesting thing was when Kayla put the address to the realtor in, it says, your route may be affected by Hurricane Laura. Never heard that one before. So that's new for us. Yeah, hopefully we don't get stuck over there in Little Rock. Because it's gonna be really bad, the storm. Yeah, and we're here in a Chevy Malibu. <laughs> I was kind of worried about that, but then everyone was acting like it wasn't going to be a big deal. And now it's supposed to be turning into Category 4 hurricane or something by the time it hits Louisiana. So it's supposed to make it all the way up to Kentucky. If you know your maps, you know Arkansas is before Kentucky, so it's supposed to be pretty strong coming through. We're meeting the realtor at 11. Yeah, and I have all the right clothes too. This is what I basically what I brought. Who wanted to bring rain gear? And then it got laughed at. Kevin did. Yeah. My mom no and Kayla laughed at me. <laughs> I had an idea that the hurricane was coming through, but at that time it wasn't supposed to be like a crazy hurricane. I guess right now it's growing. Pray we don't get stuck in Little Rock, because I don't want to get stuck there. I don't want to get stuck there either. Yeah, it's supposed to be worse than Little Rock. So we're a bunch of geniuses for driving into Little Rock to meet a realtor. Driving is genius. How am I a genius? I wanted to see Little Rock, just to see what it looked like. But now we're going to see it in extreme hurricane weather. What is the motto? Take it every day, one step at a time. Yeah. On the road in a hurricane motto. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget, like and subscribe. So we just left the realtors, and now we're in South Main Southern Cuisine. This is the only jacket I brought. <laughs> yeah, Kayla didn't want to bring a jacket because it's supposed to be hot. We're the only ones in here. I don't know if it's because the hurricane's coming. It's raining pretty good out there. People just don't come here. Uh -huh. Find out. Sound like gunshots, unless it was like a transformer exploding. I, I don't know. I didn't see anybody running away, so it could have been like crazy gunshots as opposed to regular gunshots. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the brisket melt, and Kayla's gonna get chicken fried steak. Seventy-one miles an hour and it's pouring rain. You can barely see in front of us. Yeah, crazy. People drive good here. Right now, if we were in California, we'd be driving ten miles an hour and people would be hitting the brakes a little scared. Yeah. Do you even see anything on the camera? Or is that more clear on the camera? Yeah. I'm about to poop my pants because this is scary driving on the freeway. We're still going sixty. Seven. It's not funny. You can like not even see. This car is like probably six cars ahead of us, and you can't see it. Hey, it's a hurricane. I knew it was in it. I'm trying to go look at a house, see what the area is like. We're driving north of uh, Little Rock. I think the rain's just going to get worse. I'm going to try and get as far as I can. And then, great, we make it there. Love you. Adios. So we're staying here at Country Inn tonight in Conway. It has been pouring rain non-stop. Kind of slowed down right now, so I should get out and try to get to the room. They just put out a flash flood warning for the city. So we'll see if we end up getting flooded out or hopefully my gimbal doesn't break right now. Here we go. They just put out a flash flood warning for Conway. Really? Yeah. Sweet. They said don't drive into the water and turn around because you'll drown and die. The rain stopped. Wow. There ain't no rain in no more. We're just gonna sleep here all day and never wake up. 
Can't wait to lay down. All right, time to lay down and watch some TV. We haven't watched TV in a while. We went and bought all these cookies and candy. Kayla wanted these big candy bars. They were three for five. And then she made us get these cookies that she didn't want. Do we have a whole case of Reese's Cup? <laughs> You're talking about yourself. Am I? Yeah. Why you look so guilty? <laughs> guilty. We're over here in Arkansas, at the Arkansas River. Mm-hmm. We just did a little park sliding sesh in honor of Colton missing this trip. He would love the little pirate ship there. It's a little campground. Day four. We didn't really record a lot yesterday because it was just raining and stormy the whole day and we didn't really do anything. We kind of drove around, looked at some properties. We met the realtors that took them big time. Well, yeah, we met the realtors. Drove around, looked at some properties. They were nice, but they just had too many trees and it wasn't really what we were looking for. We talked to a lender today and we can afford the price range we thought. We just have to get a pre-approval letter from a, some department that wants to hire me before we could actually get a loan. So that's the next step is to try to get hired. But we're still driving around trying to figure out what area we like the best. What is the fort place we're gonna go look at today? Fort Um We'll probably end up driving over there and see what it's like. But all through this area in Clarksville down to Little Rock, just a ton of rivers and lakes, stuff like this. So this is uh, Arkansas River, and then it goes down into a lake down here, and then it flows back into the river and it just keeps going, and I think it just keeps making a bunch of lakes. So it's pretty cool. Anywhere you drive, it just looks like this. The trees and it's super green and pretty. And a lot of bodies of water. Yeah, a lot of water, and the best part is everyone drives fast. And nice, and waves. Yeah, so the speed limit is 75 on all the highways. People drive like 80, 85. For that hurricane that came through, they were closing places down, but it ended up not being that bad. It was just like a lot of rain and a little bit of wind. It wasn't crazy. So we still have Saturday and Sunday, and then we leave Monday. Hopefully we'll be able to do something more adventurous than just talking. Yeah, we'll try to hike some more. How handsome you look. I'm ready for... We went to Kohl's. Yeah, we went to Kohl's. Because he needed some stuff. Because <laughs> he had only fancy gear. And I needed pants because all I bought was workout clothes and no jacket. Mm -hmm. and it was pouring down rain, but now we won't even need them. Oh, well, at least you have it now. Yeah. Okay. This morning we ate at uh, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Good. That stuff is good there. We bought Colton a little laser gun for him, so he should like that. So I ended up driving down to the launch ramp. Look how sweet that launch ramp is, and that dock. It's about 92 out right now, and it's not super uncomfortable. The water's looking pretty muddy. This is still the Arkansas River. When we're standing, we're around the corner over there looking down the river. It's like you could catch a ton of bass right there. Super pretty. Yeah, this is awesome. A bunch of bugs. bugs. Yeah, they are. They are? Yeah, it's a bunch of bugs. Yeah. Okay. Sound of nature. I hear the train a coming. All right, so we just drove down a dirt road. The houses are pretty spread out, like good flat land for farming and stuff. So this is your only neighbor. There's a farm down there, like a big. Yeah, property. so it's open land. You got a little gate, and here's your little driveway. So this house is 375, 20 acres. Zoom past it real fast. We got this dirt road coming in. I will for sure stay in shape chasing after the boys around the, these properties. Yeah, this is the first house that is actually like beautiful. Really nice. I don't think anyone lives here, so hopefully. We have this coming in. Here's your driveway. 2700 or 2800 square feet. Oh, nobody lives here. No. Pictures, it was empty. I hope not. Wait, oh, someone might be here. Oh shoot, we gotta go. 
Dang. The horses is pretty. More land in the back, but it's really secluded. Yeah. The house is like super pretty. Yeah. When you're like the whole property is just surrounded by those big huge trees, so it's pretty private. What it looks like when you're leaving. Yeah. House all the way in the back. I never really saw you come in until you turned me around. Oh, come on, help me. You used to think I was nothing. Look at this love we found. Hi, hi. Okay, let's go take a bath.